Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have got an Asda food haul for you, as you can tell by the title. Um, yes, it is a little bit smaller than our normal food haul. Um, normally we do the shopping for every two weeks. However, um, my next grocery shopping I've got planned is to come the Thursday before Good Friday. Um, so we have fresh groceries for Easter. Um, so as such, this shop is for a little bit less than two weeks. Does that make sense? Um, it should have cost £98. Uh, I've had 13. 13 um, substitutions, so I have no idea what this grocery shopping actually cost. Um, things that have gone back, I ordered a edamame, um, like, it was like this gluten free edamame pasta linguine thing um, which they substituted for dried pineapple uh, so that went back um, I ordered strawberries which they substituted for grapes and I'd already ordered grapes but this gets tricky when as to do your substitution um, if the new thing, the substitute is more expensive than the thing you ordered you get it for the cheaper price so my strawberries should have cost like a pound and my grapes cost two pounds so I was getting charged grapes for a pound but I'd already ordered grapes so I kept the substituted ones and sent back the ones I ordered and it saves me a pound that was rambly but you know what I mean um, there were other things that I sent back and my brain won't work but I will show you the ones I kept as we go trying not to ramble too much so yes this is what I bought from Asda. Still a load on the floor, so it's going to go in two parts. But yes, looks like that. Not put the dishes away because I'm a bad grown-up. Uh, let's start over here. I ordered some bread. Um, I ordered two birthday cakes. These are neither of the birthday cakes I ordered. <laughs> um, I ordered a blueberry cake and I ordered an apple cake. And they've sent me a strawberry and white chocolate cake and a Belgian chocolate cake um, I've had this before it is too sweet but basically it just means that I will eat the chocolate not the white one because um, I need it for today so it was kind of like if it was going to be for like tomorrow or another day I'd have sent these back but I need them for today so they will have to do but yeah not really what I wanted but these are like less than three pounds. They're like two pound eighty, two pound sixty. So you should check out this range because they are really good and they are yummy. It's just this one is a little bit too sweet for me, and I kind of wanted something fruit based, but they're fine. Um, mashed potato. I ordered root mash. They do like this sweet potato and carrot mash thing. It's lovely. Uh, they've substituted it for just normal white potato mash. It's fine. Uh, this was a substitute. I ordered a big thing of stir fry veggies. This is actually more expensive um, than what I ordered. I really like edamame bean stir fry, so it's absolutely fine. Um, and because I think the pack that I ordered was like, yeah, I think the pack I ordered was 400 grams. And because this pack is only 320 grams, they gave me two packs. So the weight is made up, which is really good, really. Um, and obviously only charged me for the stir fry that I ordered. So yes. Uh, Two packs of the caffeine-free diet Pepsi because this is cheaper than the caffeine-free diet Coke at the moment. Moving forward. Big bag of spinach. Uh, a bag of mixed cabbage. Got some smart price mozzarella. Some low fat or 30% less fat mature cheddar. This is really nice. Um, I got some laughing cow in light. I got the light one which is blue cheese. That's 25 calories a triangle. And then the extra light, normal, just normal cheese, and that one's 20 calories per triangle. Um, I got some soft cheese and herb and olives. Mmm, olives. <laughs> and then I got this oh, little cheese selection pack thing that we got the other week for a pound. It's now back up to full price, but it is yummy. The black pepper one is super good. It's super good. But yeah, that one... There's one of them that has pineapple in, so I've not had it because I can't eat pineapple, but John liked it, liked it, and all the others are really good. Cucumber. Tried these for the first time on the last food shop. They are really good. My favourite is this one. 
um, the fat-free rhubarb and vanilla yoghurt. Um, I mix mine with frozen berries. Uh, I think it might be a little bit tart for a lot of people without the frozen berries in, but it's good. Um, and this is nice too. And then I got two Easter bunnies. These are actually a substitute. These weren't the ones I ordered, but they're fine. You hear that? They've got Smarties inside. I don't think he's broken, so yeah, two of those. A big chunk of brie because cheese is a requirement of my life. Pepperoni, cocktail sausages, these aren't the ones I ordered. I normally order the big pack, this is the medium sized pack, so Darwin and Gilly might need more sausages before the next food haul. I've got a broccoli and cheese quiche. I don't even know when we're going to eat this, but I just, I love broccoli. It's kind of like, it's one of my favourite vegetables and it came up in things you might like um, on the website and I was like, yes, I'd like a broccoli and cheese quiche, but I don't know where it's going to fit in this the meal plan, but I'm sure I'll give it a go. Then I got some of these caramelised red onion and mozzarella, like mini flatbreads. Oh, so good. Um, mushrooms. 30% less fat hummus. John is somewhat addicted to hummus. I kind of, like, it's really funny. Like, a year ago, I don't think John would have eaten it. And now, he absolutely loves the stuff. So funny. I've got some ham. Not the ham I ordered. Not the ham I ordered. It's fine. I think I would have preferred the other stuff, but it's fine. Um, some reduced fat trimmed unsmoked bacon medallions. Yum. Some prawnies for a stir fry. Um, stir fry strips. Um, I'm gonna try and do beef and bro yeah, I'm gonna do beef, broccoli, and black in with black bean. I think that'd be yummy. So yes, and then I got some diced beef. This was a substitution. Um, I can't really because the weight's the same. I think. Well, no, the delivery driver seems to think the why. This is a substitution, even at low, it looks exactly like what I ordered. He looked on the little computer thing and he thinks I ordered British beef and this is Irish beef. Because the price is the same, the weight's the same. I can't really remember, but yeah, this technically was a substitution. Um, frozen section. I've got some of these corn sausage patties. I like them. John will eat them, but he's not 100% sold on them, but I like them. Two packs of the chocolate and hazelnut canetto cones. Um, I've got one singular Aunt Bessie's Toad in the Hole, uh, basically because we only ate, I bought two last shopping and we only ate one, so there was one left over in the freezer. Um, it's frozen cherries, I have these like almost every work day for my breakfast. A bag of frozen peas and a bag of frozen broccoli. And now for the second half, um, got a bag of sweet and salted popcorn. Basically, I'm really, really missing crisps. It gave up crisps for Lent. Two more weeks to go, or just short of two more weeks to go, but yeah. Sweet and salty popcorn, water biscuits, um, a tin of chopped tomatoes, loads of toilet roll. Um, I normally only buy a four pack, but these were on offer, so I bought enough toilet roll for the entire of Cornwall. Um, I got a four pack of apple and cinnamon hot crust buns. These make me very happy because I love Easter, but these are very Christmassy flavours. My two favourite kind of holidays. It's so American to say holidays, isn't it? But you know what I mean. I like Easter and Christmas are the best, so hot crust buns that taste like Christmas. Gotta be a win. Uh, yeah. These are such a waste of money. You can buy like a normal pack of six crumpets for like 80p, or you can get four that are in the shape of a bunny rabbit for a pound. Yeah, I wanted them, we have them. Uh, they've uh, got my birthday on, so they're not even gonna last till Easter, so more than likely these are gonna be tomorrow's breakfast, or Sunday's breakfast. It's probably Sunday's breakfast, which is probably the day you're watching them, but yeah, watching this video. Egg fried rice, little red apples, little red onions, not as many as normal. We had, we had a lot of food left over from the last shopping. 
this time. So not as many onions as normal. This, this excites me. This is organic black bean spaghetti. It's like black pasta substitute. It's only beans. It might be horrid, but I saw it and I wanted to try it. So we're gonna have pasta and meatballs, black spaghetti pasta and meatballs at some point in the next two weeks. Uh, the Asda milk chocolate oat crumblies or crumbies, they're lovely. Um, some chews for Darwin and Gilly. Then some chia seeds. I have these in my breakfast every day and John has them in his smoothies. Curly whirlies because yes. And um, food bags. Literally these last us forever because the only thing we pretty much use these for is when we freeze bananas for smoothies. And then John's request for this week's shopping was some lime because he's been having it in water um, on the evening rather than drinking pop on an evening, like a weekday evening. You know what I mean? Trying to be good. Um, some casserole veg, which has got a really crappy date on it. Today's the first. This has got the second on. That sucks. Um, some cherry tomatoes. Two bags of these golden galaxy eggs. Uh, pizza base, soy and garlic stir fry sauce, black bean stir fry sauce, red grapes, and some bananas. And yeah, not many this time because, as I said, we've got loads of veg left over from the other shop. There we go.